Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about how to record an upright piano in a home recording studio or wherever you are um, using two microphones. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Tryon 8000, which is a large diaphragm microphone, and the CAD E70, which is a small diaphragm microphone. Um, both made by CAD Audio, great company, check them out. Um, but, you know, I, so I wanted to talk about the microphones, positioning, and, you know, just sort of some general things that you can use at home to find a good tone on your own piano. Now, I will preface this by saying, you know, my piano opens up like this, the Baldwin here, um, opens more like, you know, the whole top or a big top section of the soundboard gets exposed. Um, so it's a lot easier, I think, to mic this particular piano compared to like my old upright, and a lot of uprights open sort of like a piano bench, you know, um, that sort of tabletop thing that opens. This method will work, and I will say that. Um, you might want to pitch them down just a little bit more to roll, you know, roll the angle of the microphones down into that cavity that opens if you have one of those pianos. But the main rule of thumb is to have these microphones relatively the same place that your ears are. Um, you know, I think of my ears are here, so I have them about a foot forward from here. Um, this is what I have found to work best for my piano. <laughs> And of course, I have the Tryon 8000 on the left hand side, a large diaphragm microphone to capture the low end and that real MIDI growl that hopefully your piano has. This one has a really nice one that I really like. And then again, you know, I have the E70 on the right hand side to capture the high end stuff, to capture the bright stuff. That's what that microphone is really designed for. So I've tried to put these mics in place, pointing at sections of the piano that I really think they will capture well for you know their design. Um, I'm gonna play some a little more high up. Right. I love that E70 on the piano. Really gets that hammer sound. You know, and I've said it before, uh, don't forget a piano is a percussion instrument. There is a hammer hitting a string and it's considered a percussion instrument. Um, so you do want to be able to capture, I like to hear that hammer sound as much as possible. Um, I think it's like an important part of the attack of the piano sound, much like a kick drum. The beater hitting the head is a, a very significant part uh, for recording. Now, another thing that I'm gonna mention is that these two are exactly in line with each other. They're more or less aimed, you know, if I was to come looking straight down, they'd be right around the middle of the white part of the keys, closer to the black, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, sort of like right in here, but exactly in line with each other. And then facing flat out right at the piano. No angles, uh, left or right or at all. I wanted it to be nice and flat, don't wanna get any sort of phase inversion. Um, don't want these microphones to be competing with each other at all. Um, so that's the other thing. The other thing is going to be height. Again, you're going to have to experiment with that. But I just say, you know, this method of using your ears as a general, you know, sit down at your piano, figure out where your ears are, and then work around that area to discover the sound. You know, typically the piano's designed for, you know, when you're playing it, it sounds best, you know, to me. That's what I like it the best, the, the tone of it. Um, I fought for a long time to find a good recording position, and this, to me, is the most accurate sound that I've gotten uh, thus far out of my piano. Matching these mics to the ranges that they're appropriate for, finding a nice placement for them, and that was pretty much it. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is when I do mix them, and like in this video right now, I have this Tryon 8000 is over to the left. If you have headphones on, you should be able to hear this. And this one's to the right. Um, this one is at nine o'clock, this one's at three o'clock on the dial there. So, you know, they're pretty much flat out going against each other there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Pretty simple little method for recording a, a good sounding uh, acoustic piano in your home with two mics. Um, so that's pretty much it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you very soon. Please subscribe to my channel. As always, I got lots of stuff coming out all the time. So make sure you subscribe and um, 
I'll talk to you soon, I hope. Later.